Hello, good morning. Um, we're about to start a new tutorial. It's a really basic tutorial about how to make rings, okay? Um, rings with uh, matrix uh, 7.0. We're going to start by setting a ring rail. It's here, this menu in here, which is usually in blue. The last one is ring rail. I'm gonna set, for instance, a region which is usually, well in my case it's written and I'm gonna choose an M I can always change the region just by clicking in here and select the region, okay? I'm gonna set it, uh, set an M and M alright so now uh, this measurement, it's an M size just imagine that I want to select an outside ring profile so I need to select the ring profile, press F6, and here I have outside ring rail. So this is like a well like a reference, okay? It's like the outside shape. By default I get this that I can modify. Okay, it's just like a classical ring. But imagine that I want to make something different. I can click here on this folder and I can choose from the library. Um, I'm gonna get, for instance, I don't know, this one, right? You can always modify this shape as you wish. Okay. I'm gonna make it thinner at the end. This is really up to you, okay? Alright, the moment I have it with this, press enter and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some profiles I'm going to select on the first ring rail and press F6 and then add profiles by default I will get the last one I've used um, I'm going to change it, I don't like this one I'm going to click on the folder and I'm going to select this one you see that it goes it, it shouldn't be going that way it should be going from this point to that point but I need the software to understand that this it's like the second profile so I need to click here on second rail and then select the outside of the second rail you see now okay now this is okay and that's I mean the height is okay but the width it's too much, it's 5 mil. I'm gonna change it up to 2.5. If I press shift, it's like ortho, so it's much better. It's much easier to be accurate. Come on. That's it, 2.5. Okay. Now I'm gonna place a different profile here on the top and another one here on the top. To do so, I need to click on add and just drag from here to that position for instance you see now we have the same one in here and in the top it's higher because the second rail it's um, well there is much much distance between here than in here okay so I'm gonna select well this one the second one I'm gonna change it something different so I'm gonna click on the folder and I'm gonna select another one like this one for instance, like the triangular one alright, and now I mean, in the other side I want exactly the same so I want to make a mirror I can accept and then make a regular mirror command or I can just click here, add mirror you see now the moment I move this one the other one will move as well anyway, I'm gonna leave it here and press enter Okay, so now now we can make the surface the surface that it, it's gonna be the actual ring so I'm gonna move to surface I'm gonna select sweep to rail the first rail is going to be the ring rail so the inside the second rail is going to be the outside and then cross section curve I'm gonna select one two and three and then enter 
I have this sim, I can adjust the sim, but we don't really have to, so just press enter. I can click on close sweep and preview. That should be alright. If I want to make it smoother, I can click on rebuild with maybe not 5 but um, 15 control points. So the edges are going to be much smoother. Especially the one on the top. You see, if I click on do not simplify, it's quite sharp on the top. If I click on rebuild, it's much smoother. Press OK. And that's it. Here we go. Thank you so much.